with Val Kokeman here, and this is episode four of the time management tips. You're gonna have to make what I call, and I'm sure you maybe you've heard of this term, the smart goals. And then um, after that, I'm gonna talk about how you. It's impossible <laughs> to to find balance. It it really is. I I hear the term work-life balance or finding balance. It's it's bullshit. Pardon my language, but it is bullshit. And I'll tell you why. And then we're going to talk about narr narrowing our focus on our goals because you probably have a lot of them. And then we want to make sure that you focus on just one right now. So, for first is SMART goals. You want to put something into your um, routine to, and, and, and reach it. This is, and, and have it be a permanent fixture. This is how you do it. Um, in order for it to be a SMART goal, it has to be specific. So you can't just put a vague term in there like I want to lose weight. Okay, how much weight do you want to lose? And why do you want to lose weight? Because knowing why is how you're going to be able to take action. As long as it's something that you really want and you're mo it's going to motivate you, you have to know why. And it has to not just be some surface answer because I want because I want to feel better. Well, you know why I started? I started my weight loss journey because I, I had my son. Um, I was jeez, oh, at the time, I think I was 50 pounds overweight. And I had to go back to work as a police officer, so I had to be in shape. Um, that's part of our job. I know some people think that you don't have to be in shape to be a police officer. That's totally not <laughs> where I work, because most of the guys are in, in shape and, and women. So um, the next part of a, a goal has to be measurable. You can't just say I, I, the, the vague definition. It has to be by a certain time period or a certain number of pounds, I want to lose 30 pounds. That's how much I lost. It took me about three months to do that, but I was you have to be consistent. So it has to be measurable. You have to be able to measure your goal. You can't just make a goal and not have a way to measure, measure it. Um, agreeable or actionable is the A in SMART goals. Um, you have to, it's something you have to agree, agree upon and it has to be something you can take action on. It can't just be because um, it's not a goal then if you just make some vague term. So you have to be able to take action on whatever goal you're setting. Um, it has to be, the R is reasonable. It has to be reasonable. It can't be unrealistic. You can't say, I want to lose 80 pounds in a month. It's just not going to happen. It didn't take a month for you to gain 80 pounds. It's not going to take you a month to put it off. So it's, it has to be reasonable and realistic. And the T is time sensitive. You have to put time frame on it. You're never going to reach a goal if you don't say, I'm going to reach it by this time frame. Or, I'm, I lost 30 pounds in three months. That was my goal, wasn't to lose, lose it in three months. It was actually well before then, but I still reached it because I had put a, put a time frame on it. So that's how we reach goals. The next thing I wanted to talk about is finding balance. Um, we're managing our time. We're thinking, oh wait, I can fit all these things in. I'm, I can find the balance. I'm gonna tell you right now, it's bullshit. You're, you're not. No one can find balance. You can't have work-life balance. You can't, you can't have family balance. You can't, because if you're, if you're gonna dedicate yourself to doing some things, like say you want to focus on your career, there's gonna be times because you're focusing on it that you're not, you're gonna lose time with your family. It's just gonna happen. It's, and then as you're focusing on your family, you're gonna lose time on your career. There, there isn't, there is no balance. You can't ha you can't balance everything. It's just it's just not going to happen. You're focusing on your career. You're going to miss out on family activities. You're going to miss out on your, on your kids' kids' uh, soccer games. You're going to miss out on family uh, trips and family get-togethers. You're going to miss out on that. Um, if you're focusing on your family, you're you're going to miss out on uh, other activities such as you're not able to focus on work as much. It, but it, it ebbs and flows. It's it's there's really no balance there. If you're focusing on one thing, it's going to be taking away from something else. So understand that and understand that's okay. That's completely okay. There's times that I want to focus on my family completely and my son and spend time, quality time with him. I'm not working my business and I'm, I'm not worried about my career and my other job as a police officer at the time. I'm focusing on him. And then there's other days when I'm at, I'm at work, I have overtime to do, that I'm missing time with him. It's going to happen. Be honest with yourself, understand that, and don't feel guilty that this is part of life it's the way it is and if you want to focus on it reach your goal you're gonna to have to, to take time from somewhere else it just you, you have to understand it 
and be okay with it because there are going to be days that you say you want to lose weight. There are going to be days that you, something's going to come up. It's going to be an emergency. You're going to have to deal with it. You're not going to be able to get everything you want to get in, but focusing on one thing you're going to do is way on, on um, some of the actions to reach your goal rather than all of them that day. That's fine. As long as you're still focusing on it. Yesterday I asked you to write all the things you wanted to do. What we're going to do now is the final part of this is narrow your focus. We're not going to, I'm not going to sit here and tell you to start adding all your goals goals in, uh, into your schedule. You probably have 10 goals. It's not going to be realistic to put all 10 in there. You're going to fail. And then you're going to quit the whole thing. So let's focus on one. Pick one goal. One thing you want to work on for the next week or two weeks or whatever you, when you set your SMART goals, however long that is, focus on that one goal. Put it in your schedule. Um, what I do for my business is I, um, when I'm up on my days off, I set three hours aside to work on my business. That is how I manage my time. Those three hours, that's all I do. Nothing else. And I usually do it when my son's at school because it's very easy <laughs> to get it out of the way. My husband understands that's what I do. And he supports me in that. Here, an action step for today, because it's a goal day, is to write out your most important goal. For me, this is how I write it out. I will be 30 pounds lighter by August. So it gives me six months. So I will, I will be 30 pounds lighter by, and, and set it up positively, not I will lose or I want to lose. It's I will. As if in your head, you already achieved it. I'll be 30 pounds lighter by whatever date. Or I will lose 20 pounds by whatever date. And I will do that by working out six days a week and meal planning every week. You have to have an action plan set in place here, just like any goal. So I will be whatever your goal is by the date and how you will get there. That's how you set good goals. And then you add it to your schedule three hours here or an hour or whatever it takes to reach your goal and put those steps in place. You have to make out steps to, to reach it by. You have to have a plan. Otherwise, you're not going to reach your goals and you're not going to manage your time. Um, if you have any questions, please put them in the comments below or come back and um, look at the blog post I'm going to make with this live because it's got more specific details on the SMART goals that we talked about and the balance and everything else. So I hope this was useful. Uh, this is Val Quickman. I hope you're discovering your power and I hope you're reaching your goals. Like if you're deciding to do this today, please put in the comments the one goal you picked because I really want to know what it is. I want to be able to interact with you guys. So uh, have a great day. Discover your power.